Alrighty, folks. So the video that I'm making today is about the um, election of 1912 and how some of that history can be seen happening now. So you had uh, Theodore Roosevelt, who had served two terms um, as a president. But at this time, um, you could serve more than two terms. You could serve as a president until someone said, we've had enough of you. Um, it won't be until his... I think his cousin takes office, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, that they decide to um, add term limits to the presidency. But I digress because what we're talking about is how uh, Theodore Roosevelt served his two terms and he sort of groomed his uh, friend uh, Taft to sort of take over. But after he realized that Taft wasn't going to go in the direction that Theodore sort of wanted, Theodore decided to run third party. And as a result, they split their party up. Um, you've got Woodrow Wilson, if not mistaken, running for Democrat. You had Taft running Republican. And then you had um, Theodore Roosevelt, who ran Bull Moose Party, which was the um, third party. And he actually finished second, even above Taft. Uh, Woodrow Wilson ended up only gaining 41% of the popular vote. However, since Taft and Roosevelt decided to rip their party apart, um, they pulled themselves down. So you only had 27% for uh, Roosevelt and 21%, about 21% for uh, Taft. I mean, that's over... That's well over half the uh, population of um, America at that time, and they would have been able to win the Republican Party. Uh, they would have won, been able to win the presidency. However, they decided that they were going to uh, bump heads and cause themselves to lose. Now, why am I bringing this up? Um, because you have something similar happening now, but not quite the same way. I'm sure everyone has seen you've got freaking Kanye West deciding to throw his name into the presidential 2020 race as a third party. Now, a lot of people are seeing this, you know, as a joke. It's not real. It's not anything. The problem with that is everyone thought that Trump was a joke. First, let me let 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 let's let's say what we want to say here. Everyone thought that Trump was a joke. My grandmother didn't believe it was going to happen. A lot of people that I spoke to didn't think it was going to happen. I was not of that mind. I'm like, yo, no one likes this bitch Hillary Clinton. I don't know if y'all are actually paying attention. Trump's not going anywhere. But that that's neither here nor there. What I'm talking about is the whole fact that Kanye West is deciding to run. And there are people out there, both young people and black people, that seem to support that idea. Now, if you are not a fan of Trump, I get that. If you're not a fan of Biden, I get that. But when it comes to the person who is probably the most capable of running the country... You may not want to hear this because it hurts me to say it, but I think that Biden is the best choice. <laughs> and right now, it's really one of those, oh, like, why am I saying this? Because the fact of the matter, it's true. I mean, we've had so many possible great candidates that could have been great for our country from both the Democratic and Republican side if we had chosen to pick with someone who was younger and a lot less controversial. Uh, but again, I'm digressing. What we need to focus on now is the fact that Kanye West is a threat to getting Trump out of the office. Now, how did I jump to that conclusion? Um, going back to the whole Taft uh, Roosevelt debacle, uh, if you were to equate that now, you've got Kanye West pulling black voters away from Biden. And you've got Kanye West pulling young voters away from Biden. The fact that so many young people are like, yeah, Kanye West, yeah, go, you know, run for president. No, no. That's one of those things where, like, I'm seeing activists saying, I can support this. I can get behind Kanye West. What the fuck are you talking about? Supporting these celebrities is giving them this false idea that they are better than us because they're not better than us. Kanye West has got mental things going on. I don't think he's mentally mentally capable of, you know, 
holding down the presidency, let alone, you know, doing anything else. I mean, did y'all see the whole him on national live TV, the the whole thing with uh, Hurricane Katrina, where he was like, George Bush doesn't like black people. Whether that's true or not, that was not the time to say that on live television sitting next to Mike Myers. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, look that shit up because that shit was fucking hilarious. And he looks straight to the camera after Mike Myers finishes reading off the teleprompter and he's like, George Bush doesn't like black people. And Mike Myers is like, and then they just cut away from him real quick. It was so awkward. It was so sad. But that's the kind of person y'all want to be our president. That's the kind of person y'all are going to choose to vote for and support over someone who could actually take Trump out of the race. Y'all are going to split the Democratic Party by having young people voting for Kanye West, having black people voting for Kanye West and not supporting an actual politician. Y'all want to talk about, oh, we need someone new in the White House. We don't need all that old blood. But at the same time, wasn't that the same argument people use on why they wanted Trump in there? Because he wasn't a politician. And look how that turns out. Kanye West will do a shit job as president. He'll do a shit job as mayor. He'll do a shit job as a fucking, like, garbage person. Like, someone picking up garbage. I guarantee he would fuck that shit up. Don't support, don't indulge Kanye West's psychosis. He's got bipolar disorder. He's got a lot going on upstairs. Feel free to support him as a, mu- as a musician, but don't give him that kind of ammunition. Don't give him that kind of clout. It's, 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 I'm over here like sort of like giddy thinking about the idea of people saying, yeah, I support Kanye West. The fuck? Why? why i want someone in the comment section to tell me if you support kanye west why you support kanye west and being so shallow basic racist saying that i'm black and i'm voting for him because he's black that's so regressive and we got to get out of that box if you want a, a, a black uh person in the white house look up all the capable black politicians there are and go and support them ask them to run Don't see a celebrity come out of nowhere saying he'd like the job of president of the United States because it's a Wednesday and say, you know what? He's the one for me. Like, subscribe, share this with all your friends, but make sure that Kanye West is not in y'all's mouths or in y'all's minds on November 3rd to cast your vote. Because if you want to get rid of Trump, Kanye West is not the way to do it.